Hey guys, we get the TZ trailer for Frozen 2. Let's check it out. Ooh, look at that water. Huh. I like her look. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, the animation is so gorgeous. The heck? Oh, nice. This has a bit of a braid feel to it. And also, uh, who's that girl over here? Huh, that is a new character then. Alright, so I assume that's like a pink purple fire. She's protecting Olaf. I wonder who the girl is. That's a boy, right? Alright, so I gotta say, the animation looks good. I like Elsa's new look. I, I love it. I really do love it. Um, and I guess uh, she's stranded on an island, so that's why she keeps trying to um, escape. And it kind of reminds me a bit of Inside Out when Joy and uh, Bing Bong are trying to escape from the pits. Uh, and they uh, try to fly off and uh, escape and everything. I'm sorry, I said escape uh, too many times. Um, so it kind of reminds me of that. It has a feeling of Naruto in a way, the way she, uh, runs on the water. Uh, I guess she's using her ice chakra. <laughs> so, um, that is cool. And I guess that she, I don't know, I thought she was, uh, she felt incredibly powerful in the first movie, right? So shouldn't she be able to turn all that water into ice? I don't know, I haven't, I mean, um, I did see it, uh, recently, but it seemed like she's able to turn the entire land to ice, so she couldn't really turn the, all that water to ice? I don't know, probably it's because she can only, uh, shoot the outside parts of, uh, just the surface of the water, so that could turn to ice, but everything else is still water, so that's why it keeps, uh, breaking through, um, so that's most likely it. But I don't know. I felt like she should be able to turn that uh, whole thing into ice. I guess it's because I'm so, um, I've been watching My Hero Academia and Todoroki was able to do it that easily. So uh, probably that's why. But otherwise, it looks interesting. Um, when I first heard about this, I thought it was really unnecessary because I thought it ended it fine. And to be honest, I was kind of sick of Frozen by that point. Um, and out of all sequels, uh... I mean, out of all Disney movies to get sequels, I thought Big Hero Six worth, uh, Big Hero Six was worthy, and Zootopia was worthy. I almost want to say Moana, but I thought that ended fine too. But then again, there are so many worlds to explore, so you could continue on with that story. Tangled, I thought ended perfectly, and Frozen, I thought ended perfectly. I don't know what else you could do with these characters, but so far this seems fine. Um, it seems more like an adventure movie, and. You know what? I'm I'm glad about that. Uh, just don't give us any more terrible stories with the the rock gnomes that keep singing about love and the dumb parents. 
oh, you know what? Probably this is a, <laughs> probably they're searching for their parents. Probably that's the uh, main thing about this uh, movie. <laughs> Uh, because um, there was a fan theory that Tarzan's parents are Elsa and Anna's parents. Um, so, who knows? Uh, maybe... Well, that's the thing. Tarzan doesn't really deal with mysticism or magic or anything. So I highly doubt that. But yeah, the fan theories. And also, they said that's the ship uh, that uh, uh, got uh, wrecked was actually the ship uh, in um, The Little Mermaid. But who knows? I feel I think that's probably uh, the main uh, goal, uh, the main plot of the story. They're trying to find their lost parents. That's what it seems like. Or they're on their own adventure, which I'm okay with too. Well, uh, it looks better than I expected, to be honest. So I'm glad about that. See you later, guys. Later.